I want to take you one step further on the beautiful Baywatch babe and her horrible thyroid illness, Hashimoto's disease. Well, she was sick and she was having all these problems with depression and fatigue and hair falling out and clumps and bad stuff and they couldn't quite figure it out, which I think should be a basic medical student should have picked up on that pretty quick, postpartum thyroid disease. I think it's really, really common and we should look for it all the time. If you've ever been pregnant and you had a problem afterwards, think thyroid, of course. Interestingly, even figuring out the mystery and getting to the point where thyroid disease was recognized, she's still not all the way where she would want to be. She still has some problems with weight control and some other issues. So on the basis of that, I looked into that and I thought, what could she possibly be missing? Well, if the diagnosis was missed, it's possible that the best treatment option is not yet employed. And typically, in the general medical community, T4 or Synthroid or levothyroxine is the primary choice for thyroid treatment, and it may not always be the best. So, by looking at TSH, which is thyroid stimulating hormone, and free T3, which is active hormone, and free T4, which is the storage form, that's what levothyroxine is, we can determine what does the patient specifically need. TSH is high, they need thyroid. Well, is it T3 or T4? A lot of times it's T3, and levothyroxine doesn't have any. So in her case, I would ask her doctor, look at the free T3. Maybe that's the problem. And maybe she can get all the way there. We have lots of patients that we see who need supplemental T3. And when they get that, they do much better. Now, of course, it falls into the doctor's hands to do a good job with that. So always communicate with your doctor about those things. If you can't find that doctor to do it, you'll find one. Just keep looking because we're always better together.